Penny stocks boomed higher to start last year, but have since plunged with the rest of the market, and now could be the best time to buy. Hey, Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue here, and updating our penny stock list for 2022. We're still up with an average return of 35% on our penny stock portfolio, with some big returns in names like Ryerson Holdings and Tellurian, but more than half the stocks have fallen into negative territory on that market crash. Now, that difference in winners and losers is actually pretty typical in penny stock investing. I'll explain why and how to invest in penny stocks along with a screener I use to get you started. First though, I wanna get into that list of seven penny stocks under $5 that should be on your radar. But you know, we can't get started without that special shout out to all you out there in the Bowtie Nation. Thank you for spending a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. I'll be using the screener on stock card to start our penny stock list, then narrowing it down to the best seven stocks. I'll leave a link to stock card in the video description below. Click through and then go to portfolios in the top menu. You'll find the Bowtie Nation portfolio in the stock picks section. It's free to follow and you'll get email notifications whenever I buy or sell from the list. As a special bonus, I've negotiated an exclusive discount for all you out there in the community. Use the promo code Bowtie Nation, that's all one word in lowercase, for an exclusive discount beyond the free trial. Looking at that graph again, and you get a sense of the pain in penny stocks lately. The iShares Microcap ETF, ticker IWC, is the blue line here, a fund of the thousand smallest companies in the Russell 3000 index. Now, these are companies with market sizes from $4 million to $4.6 billion, so you've got some outside the penny stock definition, but, but it's still a good representation of those penny stocks versus the broader market. And that group of small cap stocks doubled in just 10 months through March of last year, easily beating the S&P 500 and even the tech stocks in the NASDAQ. From there though, the price stalled out as growth stocks started heading lower and then ultimately fell with the rest of the market in November. Now, penny stocks are always gonna be more volatile, more risky than the rest of the market. That means a tough ride on the way down when the market falls, but it also means higher returns on the recovery. First on our penny stock list, Galaxy Gaming, ticker GLXZ, at $102 million market cap and $4.30 a share. And Galaxy is the world's largest independent developer and distributor of casino table games and systems for traditional casinos, as well as in internet gaming. The pandemic lockdowns hit sales hard, but this one is coming back fast. Revenue jumped 95% last year to $20 million, just a million under the 2019 record, and adjusted earnings were up 534%. The company has a cash reserve of $16 million and paid down $8 million of its long-term debt last year. Now, the travel and entertainment theme was a very strong over the first quarter, with a lot of these casinos and travel-related companies holding up against the sell-off. And, and I think this one could book another strong year for growth. In that same travel theme is $144 million Liberty Trip Advisor Holdings, ticker LTRPA, with a price just over $1 a share. Liberty is a giant media group with 80% ownership in the Sirius XM, the Formula One Group, and the Atlanta Braves, as well as TripAdvisor and interests in Charter Communications and Live Nation. Now, a lot of these started rebounding last year. The TV audience for Formula One grew 61% last year, well above growth in other sports, including NASCAR. Broadband subscribers grew 14% at Charter with free cash flow up 117%. Yeah, and I guess the Braves won the World Series. I think the big upside here though is with TripAdvisor. It's the world's largest travel platform and is expected to be back to 100% recovery this year. People are off lockdowns and making up for those lost vacation times, so, so I'm picking up names in this theme, especially the penny stocks that have sold off so hard over the last few years. And I guess I'm not alone. Analysts have an average target price of $5 a share on Liberty, more than 262% upside over the next year. I'll reveal those five other penny stocks to watch next, but there's one very important difference investors need to know between investing in penny stocks and the larger companies. Looking back on our list of penny stocks over the last three years, 19 of the 32 stocks are in the red, but we're still able to produce that average return on the whole portfolio because of those big winners. Now, this is completely normal, and it's something you need to be ready for. In fact, in a study of startup investments by Willamette University, similar to these early stage penny stock companies, found that more than half lost money. Now that's the bar on the far left here. About 55% of the investments produced a return less than the initial investment. But then look at the bars on the right here. Those exit multiples of five, 10, and even more 30 times the investment. It's this 15% of the companies, maybe one or two out of 10 investments that produces the majority of returns for venture capital portfolios. 
and circled here until you see the overall portfolio return that even with all those dud investments, all those bad investments, all it takes is just a few big winners to get that 2.6 fold return, 160% on your money. This was my world working as a venture capital analyst. You are gonna have those stocks that go nowhere, even the ones that lose money, but, but the goal here is to make enough on those moonshot investments, the Ryerson Holdings that produce a 700% return that it supercharges your portfolio to those double digit returns. And again, this is something you need to be ready for if you're gonna be investing in penny stocks. I see too many investors freak out when some of their stocks turn red and they sell the winners too early without, without really giving them the time to grow and it just destroys their portfolio. Next on our penny stocks under $5 is a really interesting one. Ammo Inc, ticker POWW, at just under $4 a share. Now this is actually one of the larger companies on the list though, at $433 million market cap, and it owns the world's largest online marketplace for firearms and accessories. It also manufactures ammunition and has a strong distribution network. The company's innovative line of ammo, including patented streak technology, sets it up with an advantage in, in an otherwise commoditized industry, and it's finishing up a new $24 million manufacturing plant this year that will triple its production space. Ammo has $27 million in balance sheet cash and no debt, so a very strong financial position. And where the problem lately with stocks has been companies coming out lowering their expectations for sales this year, Amazon really stands out for its growth. Sales are expected up 300% this year to $250 million, and the gross margin of 40% would mean stronger profitability versus just 18% last year. Again, that's what you really want to look for in these penny stock investments. Companies that can not only grow revenue, especially double or triple digit growth in revenue, but also do it while becoming more profitable. I'm actually surprised this next one isn't higher. Gold Resource Corporation, ticker GORO, at a $164 million market cap and just under $2 a share. The company is a gold and silver miner with operations in Mexico, along with a recent acquisition of the Aquila Resources for a project in Michigan. Gold Resource produced almost 23,000 ounces of gold last year, along with a million ounces of silver and some of these other base metals in copper, lead, and zinc. It's guiding for up to 26,000 ounces of gold this year and should see some strong production growth once that Michigan project is up. With the price of gold hovering around $1,900 an Ounce, this company is a cash machine on an all-in sustaining cost of production at just $922 an ounce. It's a consistent dividend payer with 11 years and $119 million return to shareholders. That's something you just don't see much with penny stocks, and you're getting a 2.3% dividend yield while you wait on this one. Mine life on the Mexico fields is estimated to be about six more years, with some expansion opportunities to boost it further, and the Michigan project could produce for 10 plus years. The company has a strong balance sheet with $33.7 million in cash and no debt. We've still got three more penny stocks to watch, but I wanna show you that stock screener to help you find some others. We'll start here under tools and then go to the stock screener. And there are some great filters here, but I wanna just start with the basics to narrow down our list. We'll select only those stocks with a share price under $10 and then filter it later for those under $5 a share. We also want only those traded on the major exchanges. So no OTC penny stocks here because a lot of the brokers like Fidelity like to charge $50 to trade on those. I'll also select market cap filters for those stocks under $2 billion. Now, this is really the definition of a penny stock. It has nothing to do with the share price, but actually the market size of the company, those small startup companies under a billion dollars in market cap. Now we've still got some in here that we don't want, you know, selecting those small cap stocks up to $2 billion. So we're gonna have to filter those out in our research along with the stocks above $5 a share. That's still gonna leave us with way more than I wanna research though. So we'll also filter by this cash availability only those companies with strong balance sheets and no cash problems. I also want to look for penny stocks with a positive earnings track record. And these two are easily the most important factors you need to be watching in your penny stock investments right now. That cash availability and positive earnings. Cash availability is the strength of the balance sheet. Does the company have the cash to survive over a rough economic period in this next year and come out growing long term? And here, positive earnings. Is the company already profitable on that earnings per share basis? This is the biggest difference we've seen lately in those growth stocks that have plunged 60 and 70% since last year and those that have held up. The quality companies with positive earnings just aren't falling as much. We'll click apply here and that leaves us with just over 100 stocks to narrow by stock price and market cap, then to start our research. Our next penny stock, Retractable Technologies, ticker RVP, is down 72% from its high last year 
but growth that should take it higher. The company makes safety needles and other blood collection devices for the healthcare industry, patented technologies to prevent needle injuries and reuse. The company reported 130% revenue growth last year to $188 million in operating profitability that jumped to 38% from just 29% the year before. And profitability has improved every year in the last three, along with that sales growth. RVP has balance sheet cash of $42 million against just $1.8 million in long-term debt, which, which means it has a net cash position of $40 million. That amounts to 32% of the market value of this company backed by cash. ARC Document Solutions, ticker ARC, is a $134 million company with shares just over $3 each. Now, ARC provides digital printing, managed printing, and other document services to businesses with over 140 centers nationwide for scanning and printing. Now, sales obviously took a hit during the pandemic, but look like they've stabilized last year, and the company still produced $32 million in free cash flow. That helped it pay out a dividend, now at 5.5% yield, along with paying down its debt. And there is some potential here in that return to office trend, with, with higher printing demand as people go back to work, and it's hard passing up that dividend while you wait for a higher share price. It's a slow growth industry though, so this is probably my least favorite of the group. Cantaloupe Inc, ticker CTLP, is trading for just under $5 a share, with a $342 million market cap, making it one of the larger penny stocks in the list. Cantaloupe is a software and payments company with a one-stop solution for payment processing, logistics, and back office management. Payment companies have also been hit hard over the last year, but this is still a growth industry, and this one has a niche carved out within that small retailer market for vending businesses, kiosks, and laundry facilities. The company reports almost 19,000 active customers with about 11% annualized growth and 1.1 million devices. It grew active customers by 12% last year, and with the return on that physical retail market, it should mean stronger growth this year. Revenue growth this year is expected in the mid-teens, and trailing 12 months revenue is already up 17% over last year's sales. I like this one for that rebound potential, and it's got a strong subscription model with 82% of its revenue from those recurring customers. Check out the 2022 portfolio on StockCard, or click on the video to the right for the seven stocks that will not only protect your money, but grow it. Seven stocks that hold up during a stock market crash. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.